the channel for those of you who don't know my name is Chris Moore and in today's video we got a little talking to do so as a lot of you guys know if you didn't know I'm gonna drop some video clips here in just a second but a lot of you may already know the 2020 GSXR 1000 went a little faster this past uh, let's say two weeks ago at the XDA race in Maryland International Raceway well, there's been a lot of talk saying that this bike is not stock, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, in today's video, we're gonna talk about exactly why this bike is so fast. And we're gonna talk about why this bike is faster than just say the other bikes that are similar setups. They're close, but they ain't set up just like this, okay? There's a lot of details that you can do a lot of things that a lot of people they cut corners or they just simply don't want to spend the money so in today's video we're going to talk about every single last detail on this bike if you've got a 2017 through 2020 gsxr 1000 you need to record this video save it to your downloads and watch and learn boys because after this we're going to put after we get done talking we're going to put the bike on the dyno we're going to wheel it right back here out of the showroom we're gonna take it back to the dyno room and show you exactly how much horsepower this thing has to prove to you that the engine is 100% stock, just like we say. But first, before we get into that, we got a matter of business to talk about here. We have got to help out another fellow Moore Mafia maniac. This is a friend of ours slash customer. He had a GSXR. I'm gonna drop a link to his video in the comments or in the description his name is Tristan and Tristan had a wreck on that same very same 2020 GSXR 1000 and the wreck has been tragic actually so it has broken his spine and he's on a breathing ventilator still he's still in the hospital he has crazy crazy hospital bills that of course as you can imagine are going to be coming up so they have set up a GoFundMe account and us, we are just doing our job here to try to share that, to get the word out, to help Tristan, another 2020 GSXR 1000 owner out. My heart breaks for him and his family. Super nice guy. His video actually has tons of views on the YouTube channel. It was a 2020 with an M4 exhaust and we did an M, uh, MR12 dyno tune on that one. And uh, we just wanna do what we can to help him out. So this video, a lot of my videos 10 to 20 30 thousand views pretty easy if everybody on here gave five bucks five dollars that's nothing five dollars that'll help tristan and his family out a ton guys so let's get into talking about this gsxr 1000 and some of the parts that we have on it and what has done we've done to make this thing fast okay so the first thing is the brox performance pentacarbon full exhaust system now this is a full exhaust system from the header back it is all lightweight stainless steel and it has been ceramic coated black for super good looking appearance the next thing that we're gonna talk about, so that basically that's the exhaust system. Everybody knows you gotta have a full exhaust. So keep in mind too, this bike is built with the best parts you can buy, not based on a certain budget, but to just be the best period. So in other words, when we built this thing, we didn't build it to cut corners. We didn't build it to be the fastest for a certain price. This is built with no budget. We built it to be the fastest period. So that Brox Performance exhaust, it does not matter how much you're willing to spend, whether you want to buy a $2,000 Acro or whatever, this exhaust right here is your best performer period, okay? We're gonna go over all the horsepower aspects first, okay? So the next thing we've got, of course, one of my favorites. Under the seat here, we got the old More Mafia ECU Flash. So the bike is dyno tuned all 100% through the factory ECU. 
The bike actually does have a Bizazz fuel controller on it, but we do not use the Bizazz fuel controller for the tuning. Originally, when we set up to do this bike, we set it up to spray nitrous on it. And then we chose not to because we were gonna do the race with Ricky Gadsden, which we will get into that here in just a second. But for now, the Bizazz basically just has what they call a zero map in it and is basically doing nothing to help out. All right, the next thing is inside the air box under the gas tank, we have a Sprint F185 air filter. Now that Sprint air filter is $239 to purchase, which is a little pricey for an air filter, but man, the, the results will truly amaze you and they definitely do work. They make a humongous difference. I've tested them at the track versus no air filter. I've tested them versus the K&N, other brands. This Sprint air filter definitely gains horsepower. The next thing is the Carbon Smith Velocity Stacks. Those are in the air box as well. Another thing that you cannot see, Carbon Smith, Ryan Smith, he actually sent me eight different sets of Velocity Stacks many months ago and we set out to he was making them, designing them. We were giving ideas and input. We were putting them on the dyno, testing them and tuning them. And we came up with a set that works the best for these bikes. And he has put them into production, making them for us. And that is one of the other reasons that we have big horsepower in the top end range, over 14,000 RPMs. Those Carbon Smith Velocity Stacks really, really shine. All right, so once we go from there, that's basically our horsepower. So another thing we talk about inside the gas tank, we got MR12 Race Fuel, VP Racing makes MR12. MR12 is the good stuff, guys. These bikes love it. So approximately a 10 horsepower gain by doing MR12 Race Gas and a uh, tune on this. The next thing, so we got the gas going in, we got the air coming in. We got to have something to spark that. So we have energy coil coil packs. So the energy coil coil packs basically upgrade our ignition system to give us more spark. Now, a lot of people ask if I just buy energy coils and stick them in my bike, will they help? Eh, yeah, they do help, but they really help more if we can change the dwell time in the tune. So that is a service that we offer with the More Mafia ECU flash. It does cost a little extra, but I can set up your ignition dwell time in order to help with the energy coils to give you a stronger spark and more horsepower. Next thing, still under the seat, full spectrum pulse batteries. So this bike has a lightweight lithium ion battery. The factory battery weighs around six or seven pounds. This battery weighs two pounds and puts out more cranking power than the factory battery. So that helps with getting weight off the bike. The more weight you can get off the bike, the faster you will go. The next thing, let's go into the chassis of the bike. So the first thing you're gonna notice, crazy long swing arm, we are sitting approximately 74 inch wheelbase. So that 74 inch wheelbase helps keep our front end on the ground and then we have Dunlop Drag Max tires to help keep the wheel under control, keep the traction down. We've got Vortex sprockets. Uh, we've got run a 1648 sprocket with me on it, with David Fondon, lighter weight rider. We actually went to a 1646 sprockets. Now, while we're talking about sprockets, Let's get over in here to the transmission. The transmission on this bike does have the lower first gear. So on a 2020 or 2017 and up GSX-R1000, we can simply remove the clutch cover, take the clutch out right here behind this cover, slide everything out, and then boom, there's the transmission. We can slide the transmission right out of the engine just as we did with the clutch. So we can remove that. We actually changed the first gear ratio on the transmission. And boy, does that bring her to life. It really makes the bike leave a lot better, the starting line. 
and gives it so much better of a launch. The next thing you're gonna notice, which you've probably been staring at these the whole time, Brock's Performance has supplied us with some BST wheels. Yeah, that's right, boys. These wheels are 100% carbon fiber. All the way around carbon fiber wheels. We also have a Montgomery Motorsports carbon fiber chain hugger. I'm sorry, chain hugger. Chain guard and tire hugger. That keeps the back of the bike nice and clean, keeps everything nice and neat. But these wheels will save you approximately 10 pounds of rotating weight. 10 pounds of rotating weight is approximately seven times unsprung mass. So if you take off two pounds of rotating weight, that's equal to 14 pounds total off the motorcycle, theoretically. The next thing we'll talk about is the Penske air shock so this bike here has got a different shock the factory shock on these bikes really is no good so the first thing you'll notice here there is no spring on the rear shock no rear suspension spring so it is 100 controlled by air and we at more mafia love these air shocks We've got these on Black Mamba, Big Country's bike. We got them on all of our bikes and we really, really believe in those because they have so much adjustability and so much different setup stuff you can do. Now, another thing that we'll talk about since we're on the subject of wheels and rolling is the ceramic wheel bearings inside the wheels ceramic wheel bearings make the wheels just roll so much easier now that's one thing that a lot of people forget about or they don't think it really makes that much difference ceramic wheel bearings are four hundred dollars in price which is definitely a little pricey but that's how you get that big mile per hour guys the lighter it is the better it rolls the more horsepower it makes all three of those things that's a combination of stuff that the bike has to have in order to go fast you want to go fast you want to set records you want everybody to notice well you got to spend the money you got to pay to play since we're on the subject of the ceramic bearings we also another thing i forgot to mention we have ceramic bearings in the transmission so once you take the transmission out, this is something that a lot of people don't do. They all just buy the first gear. Well, this bike has the ceramic transmission bearings. Those ceramic transmission bearings, once again, they add one or two horsepower, but there's several hundred dollars to buy them and several hundred dollars to install them. It's a lot of work to put them in, but once again, you do have more gains with those things. So we've got small gains on top of small gains on top of small gains on top of small gains. Next thing you know, we're way faster than everybody else. That's what's got the people looking, boys. It's all the small details. So you notice too, as we were looking at the wheels, this bike only has one brake rotor on it, period. So it's got the one front brake, no rear brakes whatsoever. And then we've got a Michelin City Pro tire. It is a 90-80-17. It's just a little guy. So that 90-80-17 is approximately two and a half pounds lighter than a normal tire. So once again, there's two and a half pounds of rotating weight on top of the wheels, on top of the ceramic bearings. You see where I'm going with that? Lots of little things that make big, big differences. And then, of course, we got all the little small stuff. Brock's Performance mirror block-offs. Brock's Performance aluminum lightweight kickstand that is adjustable. We've also got a Schnitz Racing RSR direct ram kill system, which allows us to run less kill time than a normal air shifter system. I think that is about it for what the bike actually has done to it. You can see here on the odometer currently the bike has 60 miles on it keep watching this video
video guys we're fixing to hit the dyno rollers and i've also got a special announcement about the ricky race so stay tuned guys we're gonna warm this thing up and i'm gonna get it outside and on the dyno Alright guys, so we just warmed the bike up. It is on the dyno now. Another thing that I forgot to point out that I wanted to talk about is that in Maryland this past weekend, of course you guys know we had David Fondon riding the bike. I rode it Saturday, David rode it Sunday. I personally weigh 155 pounds in normal street clothes, basically the way you see me today, 155 pounds you suit me up 165 to 170 suited okay i went at 822 at 162 miles per hour i went a 127 60 foot and i went a 341 330 523 and eighth at 134 miles per hour and once again i'm calling these off memory so if i am off a smidge don't kill me anyways david gets on the bike he gets a few practice passes we get the gearing changed david went a 127 60 foot he went a 807 at 170 miles per hour <laughs> Eight oh seven hundred and seventy. The fastest pass ever on a stock engine bike, naturally aspirated. So the another thing, so basically David weighs 115 pounds suited. <laughs> Helmet jacket, all that good stuff. 115 pounds, crazy lightweight, crazy good talent as well. So not only is he a lightweight rider he's a very good talented rider as well team puerto rico stand up but anyways now david did a great job riding the bike with no more passes than he had he did an excellent job but another thing we had on our side there that day when we went to 170 miles per hour is the density altitude guys the density altitude for those of you who do not know that's the temperature the humidity the barometric pressure the water grains in the air that's all these weather factor numbers calculated into one number and that helps i guess you say make horsepower so the cooler it is the drier the air is the way the barometric pressure is all super special that makes for real fast weather so we had real fast weather we had the best bike possible and we had the lightest best rider possible so we had a lot of good things going in our area roll back one day prior we had good density altitude we had maybe second best rider possible i don't know uh anyways <laughs> that was with me riding 165 pounds suited and we went 822 so call it the way you see it i went 162 miles per hour so you can see what taking all the weight off and lowering the density altitude does for that mile per hour because a lot of you guys i ain't gonna call you a hater but maybe you hating just a smidge you, you sipping the hater aid but let's throw it on the dyno let's see what this thing makes for all you haters sipping the hater aid how much horsepower do you think with all this vast knowledge that's in your head how fast do you think it go takes to go 170 miles per hour and what was the density altitude that day, huh? All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. We're going to roll in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. One more thing I wanted to point out that I forgot because I didn't tell every last detail. Another thing we got that helps the horsepower out of as well is Allison, less than zero weight, engine oil with Petron additive from Brock's Performance. That stuff would give you one to two to three horsepower on the dyno, depending on which oil you're switching from. All right, boys, let's suit it up, or we are suited up on the dyno. We'll roll in here, we're gonna fire it up.
miles on the odometer. Let's see what she's about. We're gonna take this thing, let it warm up just a second, heat the tire up just a second, and show you what this 2020 GSXR 1000 is all about. fuel ratio so the air fuel ratio is at 12.7 12.8 across the board that is a little rich that's why our numbers are a little low the bike has made 197 on the dyno before and if i took it and leaned it out a smidge currently today we have approximately 75 76 degree weather it's nowhere near what we had in maryland so therefore if we lean the bike out to get it back perfect for these conditions you would see our horsepower go up two or three horsepower every time i dyno this thing and tweak it in it always makes you know 194 to 196 197 somewhere around in there i hope this video has proved a point it and and i guess you say the point i'm trying to prove for one the bike is a stock engine two there's a lot of knowledge you guys just don't know okay so it's not all about the horsepower and a lot of you guys uh you dino warriors oh my i made 208 210 yeah yours didn't run the number though so anyways the whole point i'm trying to make with this video for one showing you the products that it took to go the 807 what it takes to make 194 horsepower on the dyno but the main thing is there's so much more to drag racing than just horsepower on the dyno. This is where we start. This is where we get our horsepower. This is how we go fast, boys. You gotta know what you're doing. So anyways, there's a lot of little tweaks and tricks and just combination of all the stuff working together that makes it go fast so anyways i hope you have enjoyed today's video please subscribe to the channel 70 percent of our views come from non-subscribed viewers subscribe to the channel another thing too what we talked about earlier my man tristan go support him go fund me click on the page i'm gonna have the link in the description below click on him if everybody that watches this video gives them five bucks do you know how much that'll help him and his family pay off those hospital bills they're going to have crazy bills. He's been in the hospital for several weeks now, guys. Please go help and support. As always, we love you guys. Appreciate you. Check us out, moremafia.com. We got the new black on black merch that is available now. We've also got a special buy two shirts, get one free COVID mask for free. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See <laughs> guys, guys, I, I, I almost forgot to tell you. Actually, I did forget to tell you this is a whole new day. But anyways, so the race with Ricky Gatson, that's what everybody's been wanting to know about. We had it booked for September, COVID canceled it. We tried and tried and tried to get it booked for everywhere else. We could not get a, anyone to book with such a large spectator crowd. The, all the tracks 
we're afraid to draw a crowd and get shut down for the year and definitely whatever till COVID is over. Anyways, make a long story short, we could not put together a deal for this year, sadly enough. So we're gonna move the race to March of next year, okay? So fast forward time, we're gonna do that race. March next year, we do not have the exact date yet, but it is gonna happen as of right now. The 2020 GSX-R1000? Yeah, it's going on the chopping block, boys. Just because all you guys think it's built, just because you think it's got all this special secret stuff, I'm going to show you I don't care about that bike, okay? I'm going to give that bike away. We're going to be doing a giveaway exclusive to the YouTube channel. I will be announcing, I'm working out the all the details in the fine print of the giveaway now. But long story short, the bike will be giving away one of you lucky more mafia maniacs. You gotta be a subscriber though. You gotta be a subscriber. But well, one of you lucky subscribers is gonna have the ability to win that bike. Stay tuned for that. As far as the race with Ricky, how are we gonna do that? That's right, guys. We getting a brand new one. 2021. It'll be here in December. I have already got it ordered. I got it locked in. It's going down. December this year my 2021 will be here it's a hundredth anniversary edition if you go on suzukicycles.com you can see what it looks like on there but I will have that bike in December and we will do a full complete just like this one different parts different stuff different look but we're gonna be doing a complete build the exact same way to race Ricky with in March we'll be documenting every piece of it showing you everything we're gonna do to it unlike old Ricky did we're gonna take it out of the box we're gonna break it in we're gonna put the exhaust on it we're gonna dyno I want to take it to the track and I want to show you what it runs every single week all right guys thanks for watching once again be sure to subscribe to the channel like this video give us a thumbs up that helps us out a lot until then we'll see you next time